Ja. Wow. I had to go play Street Fighter. <laughs> so we're starting off on FD. Shin has a very campy playstyle. Well, it depends on who he's playing, I guess. Sometimes he could be aggressive, but most of the time he plays campy. And FD was not a good stage for a camp to take a campy fox to. Ooh, he just waits for Kel to overextend. And the trade. Yep, and he makes it. Sorry, I was kind of texting and I missed out on a lot of that. Oh, job up smash. True combo. And we're at an even game at two stocks. Gonna see some lasers. Gonna see some more lasers. A dash attack. Oh, he didn't pluck a turner, which I thought he would. Down smash for days. And a mistimed forward beat leads to his death. Oh. Oh. Shin don't like that. <laughs> Shin don't like that. This one thing Shin don't like is that. And he goes back to FD. That's not surprising though. I think he figured out what he needs to do to play against Kel. And that is to camp and shoot lasers. And being on FD is the perfect stage to camp and shoot lasers oh that gimp though shines for days oh okay so he's feeling comfortable that he got the first stock and being a bit more aggressive now and there we see the lasers oh 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 my god what is going on? That fair. <laughs> he says, stop wave dashing back before you get up smart. See, Cal doesn't mind taking a few lasers to the face. Oh. oh and hits him with all the lasers just racking up as much percent as he can so the second he sees Cal overextend boom baby up smash yep nothing he could do about that but now he has these invincibility frames he's gonna run and just try to up smash yep and that falling up there is gonna do it can Cal bring it back oh he plays this right, it could be a stock. Yeah. 
Yep. And just like that, down smash to dash attack to chain grab to throw to death. And just like that, Kel is in the lead. Percent lead. Oh. Oh, he messed that up. But that crouch cancel down tilt was beautiful. Oh, see? A lot of people don't realize that... <clears throat> oh. Peach, her aerials... If they're L cancel or not, they have little to no lag. And if she jabs right after, it's pretty much the same effect as Fox's shine. People try to shield grab you or something that them jabs would just be like pop pop what the fuck do you think you're going but I'm actually not sure if I can curse on stream but I just did oh well YOLO you only live once mother okay so he's going Marth and takes Peach to a Yoshi story now this this stage selection makes sense because because Martha has that disjointed hitbox and the platforms are so low on this stage because it's so small. You see he's trying to up tilt through the platform. Um, if Peach is on the platform, the forward smashes will pretty much automatically tip her. If she's stuck on the platform, he'll just up tilt. And um, really well, like when you get a tipper on this stage, they're pretty much dead depending on like if they're mid to high percent. Pretty much. See, the only thing about winning this match is Kel is going to go to Dreamland. So even if you win, when Kel goes to Dreamland, it has the exact opposite effect that Yoshi's story has with Marth. The platforms are too high, so his up tilts don't really go through. His forward smashes don't go through the platforms. And it's really hard for, for him to recover. And of course, it's hard, harder to kill Peach. So I wouldn't be surprised that if, in the event that Shin wins this match, he'll probably go to Fox. And if not, then we'll see how he does on Dreamland. Oh! Peach just dodging and weaving and dodging and weaving and Ma just swinging and swanging and swinging and swanging. Oh, 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 I thought I was gonna be a forward smart. Oh, oh, oh. They are just duking it out. Randall over there smiling like, yeah, bitches. I just waiting. I'm just waiting to fuck someone up. <clears throat> Shin does this thing where. When you hit him and he has the option to attack, he will DI, let's say he DI's to the right towards the edge of the stage, so you automatically assume that he's gonna attack towards that direction that, that he's DI. But then he attacks in the opposite direction and it seems to, to work a lot and I noticed that because I'm chic, so when I down throw his spacey, I notice that he'll DI towards like either center stage or the edge of the stage and I will automatically assume he's gonna attack that way and try to read it but then he always attacks the other way and that's something I have to get used to oh 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 trying to go for mind games and it would have worked if it was anybody other than Marth but because Marth's grab range is so fucking ridiculous he got the grab off Oh, that wasn't even a tipper. The sides are so short. And forward smashes just pretty much destroy anybody. Oh. Oh. Mart's get up attack is so bad, but it works sometimes. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. The dare do. Lions, tigers, and dares. Oh, he didn't go to Dreamland. I, I wonder if he's saving that for if the event that they have to go to game five. 
But FD, the only the only reason I can see him picking the stage is because Peach has turnips, so he can run and pull turnips and and Marth. Moth can deal with the turnips, but he doesn't have an uh, uh, an answer for them. Like, he doesn't have a projectile of his own. Not like Sheik, who has needles, or Fox, or Falco, who have lasers. Oh, that tipper, though. But, smart thing Shin did was didn't let Peach touch the ground, so she couldn't pluck a turnip. But now you see she has, she has control. Oh. 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 Ooh. Yeah, so you're going to see uh, Peach is going to want to pluck a lot of turnips for this matchup. Especially on this stage where she has a lot of space to do so. And freedom to do so as long as Moth isn't all up in her business. In her bee's knees. If you know what I'm saying. No? Okay. Hopcool is pretty much just sitting in the back like Look at these guys fighting to play me because I am the king in grand finals Knowing Alex, I'm gonna call him out. He's probably gonna go Falcon in the first set And then if he loses the first set, then he's gonna go to um, Samus Unless he doesn't <coughs> What'll probably happen? Is he'll go Falcon for like the first game. If he loses, then he'll switch to Samus. But that'll only be because he wants th this tournament to be over. And he'll stop messing around. Because I'm pretty sure we're running PM after this. Oh, the suicide. He tried to go for the can combo and it turned into the dead combo. He thought he had another jump and didn't, so he dared. And a lot of people, if you ever played Moth, you realize that the dare actually has a lot of lag in the air. So once you do that, you're pretty much just depending on, on DI, pretty much just survive. And if you're off stage, then it's pretty hard to recover from it. That tipper sent her flying, and the DI was horrible. It's D.I. or die, and he chose die. Oh, that's spacing. He knew the down smash was coming, so he, he walked to the left a little bit just to make sure he was out of that range. And the second the, the hurt boxes were finished. Pa pow pa pa pow Alright, so I think Cal is realizing that this was probably not the best counter pick, but... I mean, come on, he already won two games, so he, he, I guess he just wanted to feel the moth out. Oh, that turnip. That turnip was dangerous. That's a sniper turnip. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, the power shields. Oh, the, the spot dodges. What's going All right, moth is on the defensive, and now he's on the offensive. And the suicide. I guess he chose that time to give it back to Shin because Shin killed himself. And now here's that Dreamland pick that I was talking about earlier. Marth is doing the right thing, which is to be aggressive and not allow her to... He doesn't want to play Peach's game. He wants Peach to play his game. Oh, god damn! That dare though. Lions, tigers, and dares. Oh my. Hmm. Oh, that tipper, god damn! Oh, he really wants to try and get rid of these stocks. Cal 
catching turnips. He's like, fuck that shit. I'm tired of you always throwing these turnips at me. Dead in the air. Oh, bad turnip. Bad turnip. Yep, and that's a stock. Turnips are so dangerous and detrimental to moth. You really have to know how to maneuver around them. Or how to deal with them. Is this gonna be a dare? No. He missed times the second jump. Oh. I don't know what he read there, but he, he read something. Oh. Get that shit from around here, boy. Where you going with this umbrella, boy? Hmm. This is why Dreamland is such a good pick. Oh, well, unless you get different, but... Because it's so hard to kill Peach, and once you get into that, uh... Weird percent, I don't know, it's like once you hit, like, over 120, it, it becomes really hard for Marth to kill you. Because none of his moves really string together, not like Sheik. Where if you dash attack, it pops them up straight for a fair. No, with Marth, it's like... You have to be, you have, you have to really know your percents. For things to string together. Ooh, god damn. Too hot, hot damn. Tip us all day. Left, right, and Santa. Santa. Oh, he, he really, really, really wanted that fair. Ooh, that air dodge was so good. Oh, he wanted to grab edge, but he missed it. Kind of threw him off guard. Nice spacing. Oh. He really trying to shield poke with those down tilts. Nice now. And now we're even in stocks, but man, that 137. It's not looking good. One tipper and that's it. But see, if if Marth hits you with anything other than a, a tipper up tilt or a tipper forward smash, you can DI it. Unless you're in a weird position where he decides to dare you off the stage. Or you run into his neutral B or something, but other than that, there's really nothing that he can do other than to bait out a tipper forward smash or a tipper up tilt. I'm not even sure if an up air would kill. Maybe. Oh, and Cal is not buying it, but he gets shield poked. And look at that, we're at 205%. I think that was a tipper up tilt. I'm not sure, but this 81% is kind of a comfortable per percent for, for Peach. Oh. Oh. And just like that, I think this is an even match. Game five, only 12%. 25% difference between these two. We're on Dreamland. Is oh, he tried to play it safe and he died toward the stage so that if the dare missed, at least he would be on the stage. But if he had overextended and done the dare off stage, that might have just been what he needed. Oh, the neutral B. GG's. GG's. Kel don't like that at all. 